Yo, what's up YouTube? It is OG and today I've seen a few guys request this. So we're gonna be doing Power League, but I'm gonna be walking through all the drafts. I don't think I'm the best drafter in the world, but I feel like I have pretty good game sense and understanding. I do play the game a lot. Um, and I definitely notice that most Power League games are uh, lost when you're picking your brawlers. So I think it's really important to know if you do want to push up high, how to draft properly, what brawlers to take when, and uh, yeah, so it's kind of hard sometimes with Power League randoms and they like doing their own thing. But you know, most games you can try to make something work. So we're gonna go over it and then I'll play a game live as well. We'll see how it goes. Let's go. All right guys, sorry, uh, the MM took a while. But uh, yeah, obviously first thing is the ban phase. So I think banning like it's pretty important for the most part, but I think you need like two good bands usually. So I'm banning Shelly. Uh, Shelly is really broken, but I don't think it's like good enough to first pick. And uh, yeah, pretty much on every knockout map, you want to ban Tick. And same with Bounty. So yeah, um, we probably should go like something that has some high HP here. I think like Jean or like. Uh, Bonnie would have been fine too, if there's like one thrower open. If there's two thrower open, throwers open, you can usually like handshake. By two throwers, like, usually talking about Sprout and Grom. Um, but yeah, Jean like, pretty safe first pick and it's pretty good. So Gus is another one that you could first pick. You just have to be careful because you can get ran down. Goldom Gulch, like, not as much, but uh, if they go Daryl last pick and we don't have a good answer for it, uh, it could be pretty tricky. So I might actually have to go Daryl here, just because I think they'll have too much HP, uh, depending what Alex goes. So he's going to go HP Dog. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this strategy too much anymore. Um, I don't mind the Brock pick. I think I'm, like, kind of, like... They're gonna have one brawler that really counters me if I go Daryl, but I kind of have to take it, otherwise they take it, and uh, you know I don't want to go like a tank counter, like something super tank counter, like uh, let's say like Tara or something like that, uh, and then they just don't go like a tank, right? So I think I'm like kind of forced into a spot where I go Daryl, and our comp's not bad. Uh, the Brock's a little iffy, but, you know, it's kind of, it can cover for, like, throwers if they do have one. If they go Sprout here, I think it's a pretty good pick. Um, but yeah, they'll probably take something to cover the Daryl, I'd say. So always check your gears, too. This is So yeah, they took Pam, and uh, that makes it a pretty good Brock game. Also, Gene can kind of pull any of them except for Pam when he has turret, and I'll just be hanging around. So what they want to do here, they want to like just run us down at the start, I think, and be really aggro because I'm not really a brawler for the first 30 seconds. I'm going to see if I can catch them out on their lane. This works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. It either works really well or it doesn't work. So I don't know if I'll do it, but I, I think I'll try it just because I'm talking about it. But I'm kind of having second thoughts because I can get ran down, like I said. Hopefully one person comes with me. Assistance. Mm -hmm. On my own, that's okay. So yeah, they're gonna check for me. All right, no, he would have hit me, so I'm just gonna back out. And it's fine, like, as long as I'm there, even if I get hit like a few times, like it doesn't really matter that much. I'm covering, like I'm just waiting for me to get my super. And I uh, wanna make sure none of my teammates really die. And it's getting close to my super, so I can maybe catch them out. So they have no idea where I am. I'm gonna see if I can pressure them a little. I don't wanna feed the gush shield, but the rest I'm not like really opposed. So I'm gonna go in, if I can ever get Pam to use her gadget. So I'm just gonna try getting position and uh, yeah, I'll probably get pinched here, but look, they're trying to spread out a bit. So I'm gonna get a really nice roll there, and I don't think I need to use my roll. But uh, yeah, that was just like really good positioning. Like when we get the gene pull, like I said, like as long as the Pam doesn't have super, so they're gonna be checking for me in that right bush. Unless they're like hard committing to our side. I don't think they are. I could almost, oh. Okay, so yeah, the Pam actually was there. Uh, and I'm just gonna stay alive here. 
Okay, I got lucky there. Oh, Gene. Gene Wolf. <laughs> Brock should super. Or gadget. Yeah, that works. Alright, we've won. Um, so yeah, like, the Pam can't really burst me. I have AK HP. If I have any other brawler there, um, it can. But, you know, I'm Daryl, nice and big, so we got one more to go. Um, I'm not gonna go right, just because the Pam kind of knows that I want to do it, I think. Maybe I'll try it. I don't think there's really a lot of harm, unless, like, all three of them are down here. I don't really think I could die. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Alright, no, that was kind of bad. I'm gonna have to roll out here. Alright, that was not the roll I was trying to do. I should have just left right away. Um... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, it's like risky doing that strap, but sometimes you can like literally win the round, and I think it's fine. It's kind of bad though because I think they're all like kind of close to super, and your gene just keeps shooting here, so you don't regen. You already have your super. You're not winning this one v three, so he needs to just run into the gust now. But he kind of messed up by letting them regen, and they're all gonna get super off it now. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna take it slower. I do think we have the better comp. So, yeah, ideally, like, someone comes with you, so you're not doing it by yourself. I think the Pam might be up here. So, I'm gonna let him check. And then, no, the Pam's over there, that's fine. I can't go in. Uh, body's one shot to jump if I have the right math in my head. Uh, so, I wanna see if I can get Pam to actually use her turret here. I'm in an annoying spot. Sometimes they'll just throw the turret and uh, they won't get a lot of value out of it. They're kinda thinking, like, long or short term. We're playing till the end of the game. Bonnie's one to jump, like I said. So I'm just gonna use my presence and keep the gene safe. If he hits a pull on someone, you know, I can definitely follow up. And we're just gonna back off, relocate. I can't go in on the Pam, it's gonna gadget me. We gotta play around the gene here a bit. Maybe I can catch the Bonnie out. It's like one shot to jump though, I'm pretty sure. So I might have to go in on the Gus here. I don't want to roll in on the Pam, but uh, I think we lost. Alright, so really good roll. I was pretty patient, and I got a double slow, and I charged it back. Uh, so, yeah, that round was a lot harder because I fed them the round before, so that's why you gotta be careful. I don't know where the Pam is. If Pam's left, I could just roll out, I guess, but they all have super. Uh, so ideally we get like a gene pull, but I'm going to go down here and so at the end of the round I was trying to wait out and see if the Pam would gadget early, but I didn't. So it was a good play from it. And I just have to be careful about getting knocked back here. So I am just spreading out to get better position and uh, I got to cover my gene here, he's in a bad spot. And same with my Brock. All right. Nice. So we're just gonna play it slow. Okay. We're not gonna play it slow. We won. Uh, but yeah, just uh, kind of what's going through my head in Power League games. We are back. Oh, so we're against uh, my teammate Sands. I think he's like top five in the world. <clears throat> so yeah, this is gonna be a sweaty game to say the least. He's gonna be banning Crow if I know him well enough uh i think we could ban like something that's pretty good like last pick like squeak's a good one i might do carl to be honest uh he likes m's a lot too i think yeah he did so shelly's open i think we could go shelly honestly they'll probably go taro but i think it's okay So with Shelly, we want to go something that can like do really well with it, like nice and aggro as well. I don't really like Max that much, but this is one game that I'm kind of considering it. I think they'll go Tara though. Uh, M's, okay. So yeah, we're going to need so squeak spin. This is one of the newer maps as well, so it's been out of the meta for a while. I'm not the most familiar with it. I'm thinking about going Janet mid right now. I think it's really safe, and I think there's a good chance to go last pick Tara here. Um, so other things that we can go, yeah, Tara, there it is. Um, okay. 
So I think I 100% go Janet mid. And I don't know. Don't think we go the bra, to be honest. Um, don't. No, 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 no. Let me go mid. Oh. Unlucky. So that kind of just messed up our draft really hard. Uh, you don't want to go Jesse into that. Uh, shoot, I have to play something bad side. That's going to be really tough. Maybe I go Mr. P. I could go Lola. I'll go Lola. Um, but yeah, I don't really like the Jesse pick. It just dies to Tara really easily. And I don't think it really has... I mean, I guess it's good to tar pets, but I don't think besides that it really has any amazing matchups here. Uh, but I don't think you can really go wrong with the bad side Lola. It's pretty, like, as long as Carl is banned, squeak. So Sans knows about the Jesse mid. It's pretty good. You can fly right away. It's pretty safe. Or, uh, the Janet mid, sorry. I think I mispronounced it or said a different name. It's late. I, I streamed like seven hours a day, sorry. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so it's definitely Janet mid. I'm assuming the Tara is going to go on the Shelly lane. And they know the Shelly is going to go good side. So uh, I'll probably have the M's on my side. But, uh, oh, I have the Tara on my side actually. So as long as they don't get snuck on, I'm just waiting to hit it so I can get vision. Okay. So yeah, not really the best start. And we're gonna get him low. It'd be great if our Jesse could hit a shot on him here. All right, I don't know where the Jen is. Okay, I see Janet. Don't wanna get reset on my regen, so I'm gonna back off a little here. Uh, yeah, you can kinda see the Jesse is super useless and just not a good pick. Um, so this is kind of the issue with Power League. You cannot control. No one's on my lane right now, so I have to go really aggro here. All right, they just all walked into it, I guess. Um, no, like my Jesse just. Like did nothing. I really wish you would have picked something to go bad side and I could have just taken Janet mid. I'm gonna try being a little more aggro this time, getting in the bush. Alright, that was not it. I didn't know you had super. Alright, this one's kind of winnable, but kind of bad side. So if you could help me kill him, nice, it's really good. Alright, we got him. Alright, I can win. as well I think he's gonna die going for those so that's why I think Jesse is a really bad mid here because it's gonna keep dying every time the tar has full like I don't there's not a lot you can do into it honestly so no one's on my lane right now they're gonna reset, but that's fine. You can kill Sans. <sighs> Gotta kill Tara. Alright, luckily we killed Tara, otherwise I think they reset there. <clears throat> and you can see, that's why we first picked Shelly. Like, it's gonna get countered, but it's just like, 
really, really good, and you can never give it to them 2 3. But yeah, I got a little tilted, honestly. <laughs> uh, our Shelly did good, though. I think he got a really good kill. Kind of kept this in it. So yeah, you're not always going to get to play the, ca the carry brawler. Sometimes you're going to be bad side. And sometimes you got to suck it up. But it does kind of suck, honestly. Like, I would much rather be on the other side of the map. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's really good. He got vision for me. And he's going to be one shot here. Yeah, you can see bad side sucks. You're basically shooting in a bush and uh, hoping that you can get vision on them. And uh, this game is not looking as good. All right, so fortunately our good side did Kind of hard to lose this game. And, uh, yeah. You got him? Alright, so we've reset a lot of times. <clears throat> Hopefully they're fine until I get up there. But as they can just stay alive and keep them low, that's perfect. Alright, he's not doing that. So yeah, Tara has pull now. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, like... Kinda tried what we could. I think the Jesse pick really threw that game. Um... And yeah, like our good side didn't really do the best, to be honest. But I think the Jesse pick was super bad, to be honest. Alright guys, we really need to win here. I've tilted out of L2. I was like 40 in the world, I think, at the start. Probably like 80th or something. Um, <clears throat> we banned like last pick brawlers. I think Carl... I think Squeak would have been good too. <coughs> no, do not go B. Do not go B. Do not go B. Do not go Stew. Uh, I don't know. Like, this is the issue with Power League. Like, people just don't really know how to pick. And B is not a good first pick here anymore. B is like pretty average brawler at the moment, I'd say. Uh, and it loses to all the other long range brawlers. And I don't really think uh, you need to pick it really early. Like two, three, the earliest on like any map that comes to mind. Um, but yeah, again, like an issue with this is they have Amber and B now, which both counter stu. Well, Amber is okay, but B is not the best in the stu. And he's going to go good side, and I'm going to have to play bad side, and, like, I'm just not going to do it, to be honest. If he goes that, I'll just go something else and just, like, play, because I've seen enough, like, I'm tired of being bad side, or, like, on tanks. <clears throat> so other people can have fun, like... I went Meg. It's probably, like, not the best pick. I really want to kick him out mid, though. I don't trust these guys with mid at all uh, i don't know either of them so if i don't know someone in power league odds are they're not that good no events um <laughs> and yeah i'm gonna see if i can get mid so yeah lola is really good into all of our brawlers just a really good pick from them and uh i think their comp is significantly better because we first picked Stu. um so yeah you can just see like you guys can really like win or lose games off of drafting alone. I'm gonna bring this one in to block B three Ks. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go mid. Hopefully one of them goes bad side. I'm not going bad side. So 
side. Someone go that side. I'm not going that side, bro. You guys go that side. Alright, our Bonnie got a really good kill. We're just gonna wait out the Amber Gadget a little bit, and we're gonna finish Sword up. I don't know, oh, the bee's there. So yeah, that's why we're bringing that gadget in. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't reload. So we're getting close to our super back. And we need one more hit. We had a really good start, honestly. Our Bonnie's playing really good. So we're one hit to super. There we go, we're gonna get it, and we're gonna focus forward. Try not letting him regen here. I think B has 3k, that's something in the back of my mind right now. I'm getting ready, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, you do wanna block the slow with the gadget, but I think either way, maybe I can finish the B off here, something like that. But you can see the stew is not really doing too much. And we are gonna work our way back up to that mag super. So we do have a nice little lead here. So we're gonna get it and you can just see the stew is really struggling uh, Like I said it made the whole drop super hard So I want to block the slow because if they hit the slow the bee will hit like two shots on you at least if I can regen here That'd be great. I don't think I'll be able to and you can just see our stew like it's not really playing the game Honestly, I mean a really tough time because he first picked stew uh, and you know he probably won't learn I'll probably do the exact same thing next time too, which is probably my least favorite part about Power League, honestly. So you can just see, like, my Stu did absolutely nothing that game. Uh, and that is because he first picked Stu. And this is why I'm getting tilted. Because it kind of makes the whole game unplayable. My Bonnie played really good. My Stu did not do anything. So, yeah. So you don't first pick stew with all these brawlers open. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna go on sword again and just not lose our mech, but our Bonnie is doing really good though. I don't know how it's doing that good, but it is hard wing lane. Stu hasn't hit anyone, it's just kinda wandering around, like not doing anything. Uh, this game's a 2v3 unfortunately. A regen here, and yeah, nice try by the Bonnie. Uh, unfortunately, my gadget didn't pop in time. I'm gonna get the B. Stu's gonna hit someone, which is really nice. I'm gonna help get him through there. Sword's gonna be on our right side here. I'm just gonna back off. I don't wanna die. He's gonna kill our Stu. Right, I'm gonna get big form. I'm gonna get the B pretty low. Nice. It's a good kill. I don't want to lose my mech again. But, uh, yeah, honestly, the longer this game goes on, the worse it is for us. We need really good control. He's gonna miss his fire. He's gonna kill the stew again. And B is gonna be one. I'm gonna put that down. Don't want to get too low. I can't lose my mech or we lose the game, I think. But, uh, yeah, Lola does counter me pretty hard. Lolo was a really smart pick by uh, Rez. <laughs> I'm gonna block the 3k there. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. My stew stats are gonna kinda tell for themselves, I think. Oh, my Bonnie is playing out of its mind though. My Bonnie is playing so good. I don't know who this person is, but they are playing like really, really good. I'm gonna regen here, I don't need to shoot. Uh, B is super squishy if it doesn't have its star power on. I'm gonna get it one shot, and uh, yeah, I wanna get zone time, but it's not worth losing the game over, so we're gonna see if we can kill a sword on the amber there. 98 HP, wanna keep the mech if I can. Honestly, we are like 
Like, I'm doing fine, but this Bonnie's playing really good. It is playing much better than uh, I anticipated. <laughs> so, very good job by the Bonnie. <clears throat> I don't understand how it's getting the huge lead at the start every time. I don't think it should be doing it, but it's playing. Hubuki, if you ever hear this, you're playing very good. So thank you for being on my team. Fortunately, that was not enough to kill it. He's gonna be one shot. You can just see my stew. Not having a really good time. Right, I'm gonna get both of them, and we can get some control here. I'm gonna help my Bonnie. Got to make sure I regen by the time they come out, and I want to keep the pressure on the B here. Can't lose my mech as well, so we're gonna. Right, my stew is just gonna run up and die. Yeah. <sighs> They're gonna be one. All right, so I need to get my mech back here. I'm really close to it. All right, I'm gonna get the B, so it's a really good trade, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be one. Nice, good job, buddy. Good job. So you can see this is literally like a two v three. That wasn't the best time to take my mech, but it's fine. Actually, I'm gonna go down. Sword's gonna be one. They're all one shot. That's so sad. Ah, uh, if we had a third player, this game would be so easy. Yeah, Stu's gonna die again. I need to get a kill here, otherwise we just lose. Nice jump from Bonnie. Oh, unfortunately, I am going to miss that smack. Got to cover the Bonnie. So I don't have time to regen here. I'm going to go down. Alright, we are going to win. Watch my stew stats. They're going to be so bad. 4 and 16. So you can just see how frustrating it is when one person messes up the whole draft because they want to play a brawler and they have first pick. And um, yeah, that game was 10 times harder than it had to be and we only won because I think I did good, but my brawler is like, I can't super hard carry on. The Bonnie did really good. But the stew, like, look at that. Like, just trolling. Like, just wasting everyone's time. Like, power league random, just trolling. So. You know, we're gonna get the win, but definitely mad about it, <laughs> honestly, like, uh, and he's probably gonna think he did good and, like, just pick the same thing next time again. So it's really frustrating, honestly, when you get these people all day. But I guess that's Power League, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, like, you guys learned something from the video. Like, I'm not saying I played amazing or anything in all the games I carry. You don't have to, like, sometimes you have to be put on, like, brawlers that... You know just fill the rule because we don't, all don't want to be like first picking stew and just like solo losing the game kind of so yeah hope you guys enjoyed some of the draft knowledge and uh yeah see you guys next video peace